Deja vu. Part two, we double checked that the internet connection's working fine. Art up in his rocket did some laser tests from spa, from space and said that the stream's going to be stronger now, right, Art? Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's hope it looks better. Um, we're going to keep going. I haven't done anything. I've been on complete standstill. I'm going to preheat my Instant Pot. Now, if you're just joining, you weren't here before, we're live on Quarantine Kitchen. Desi's holding the camera. My man Art's in his spaceship. My girl Rose is eating her first her dinner. And here's the menu tonight. Pulled pork keto with a coffee and ancho smoked uh, spice rub. Paleo bread from scratch. My girl D. Slav, the baker, is going to make a ridiculous loaf of chlebets. It's going to be great. So let's hope we're looking good. In front of me, once again, is two pounds of pasture-raised pork shoulder, oftentimes pork butt, it's called. This is my spice rub. Fresh ground coffee. This is a um, company in Toronto that a Flav City fan works at, along with chili powder, cayenne, cumin, smoked paprika, core thyme, and the keto brown sugar. This is the key because most rubs are made, my friends, with brown sugar, right? And that's very traditional. But if we can use the keto brown sugar, why not do it, right? So we have to sear. I wish you didn't really have to. We have to sear our butt because big butts don't lie, right, Art? <laughs> so we got to sear it to add some flavor. And you know what? I can use a little more spice rub. Desi, why don't you use your free hand there if you have one. Sure. Shake a little more uh, spice rub. Shake, shake it off, right? Is the Rolling Stone song brown sugar okay? Thank you. Does it have to be ketoized? Um, it has to be ketoized. Good. Oh. <laughs> So by searing the pork in the, the pan, whether it's a cast iron pan or a Dutch oven, whatever, you create caramelization or the Maillard reaction. Art, what is the Maillard reaction? It is uh, a uh, beautiful thing. Uh, when uh, proteins, amino acids react with and brown and goodness. We want that. Well said. Brown food tastes good. And if you skip this step, it's still going to be a money dish but it's not going to taste quite as good. Yeah, so Ash was asking, why did we move away from Santa Ma from Fanos Beach? Yeah, we were there in 2016 for only five months. We left Chicago to just rent an Airbnb hey. in Venice Beach and enjoy the winter away from Chicago. So that was just a temporary move to uh, get fun and uh, enjoy the west side. Yep, that was good. So, okay, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner. Also, in the description box, like I said earlier, is my Thrive Market code that goes to my pantry staple and up to a $20 credit. They've been a sponsor of the channel for three years. Sponsors like that make this channel possible. Uh, the box comes to your door. We'll show you the box later on. Uh, Rose, how is your first course going? A hey, manja. Manja Rosa, huh? Mandeep is asking if you can give tropical fruits to a seven month old. There's a difference between different tropical oh. fruits. Uh, like maybe banana you can give at six months, but um, other tropical fruits like um, mangoes, I would start after eight months and pineapple around 10 months. Also uh, citrus fruit, don't give that until one year old. Casey Lane, a buck ninety nine super chat. My personal wire ninety nine washing from Florida. Hope it's warm. It's Friday. A bottle of keto wine. It's actually gonna go great with pulled pork. A beautiful pairing. Wait for some more food rolls or what? Preload. She wants preload pre of the puree. So in her green puree here. Her green puree is um, steamed. Um, spaghetti squash. Uh, the reception again. Ah. Broccolini um, oh. and parsnips. Nice. With a little bit of ghee, that really good ghee from Thrive Market. Yes. Pinch of salt. There you go, sweet pea. And that's it. It's very thin. fibrous. Yeah, look at this. Woo! Please do. Sugar free. Pretty much. And here's getting the flavor profile correct. So we're going to have a nice spice rub that has the coffee in there. The coffee is optional if you don't love coffee. <clears throat> but then we're going to cook it with 
uh, keto sugar-free barbecue sauce, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of Tabasco sauce, right? Wow, this is horrible. I just think a lot of people are streaming right now. Um, yeah, it's here. It's sucrin. This stuff is amazing. It's the only one that's kind of soft and packable. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to fight through it tonight, my friends. We gotta fight for our right. <laughs> All right, never leaves me hanging. I love it. Here you go, my love. Rose, you look bigger this evening. Did you gain a couple pounds during the day? Huh? Um, so by cooking it in, oh, and bone broth. Bone broth, uh, a little bit of uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is brand new, coming to the market. Check this out, Desi. It's Hawaiian Primal Kitchen Keto Barbecue Sauce. Instead of putting brown sugar and uh, high fructose corn syrup, look at these ingredients. Where's the sweetness coming from, babe? Is it just pineapple, uh, pineapple juice, maybe? Coconut syrup. Uh-huh. Um, apple syrup. Make with sugar-free. Now, I do have a recipe. When you Google search Flav City pulled pork, or if you go to the cookbook, uh, there's a chapter in the cookbook that shows you how to make this for a homemade barbecue sauce if you want to make your own. It's an amazing recipe that starts with the base of the sugar-free Flav City uh, ketchup. And then we add uh, apple cider vinegar and really uh, yummy flavors to make up. Like literally the most amazing, in my opinion, sugar-free barbecue sauce, but you wouldn't even know it's sugar-free. It's amazing. Okay. We only eat sweet potatoes um, on the paleo diet. We don't eat white potatoes. Uh, we try to avoid Correct. White potato. Uh, Casey, yeah, we did buy that necklace for Rose. It's right here. Yeah, Jesse, the, the maybe you can Baltic ember. The Baltic. It's very nice. I think it does help. Yeah, it's a beautiful necklace. Hey, uh, yeah. Oh, so, you know what? I'm going to do a sear on half. <laughs> okay, so, that's right. I'll show you. I'll come to you, right? I'll bridge the gap. I'll be like... Like Art said, Ronald Reagan bridging the gap, tearing down that wall. So by searing the pork, look. Now, I just want to get this going because it's going to take some time. But, 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 get it? Boston butt. Uh, we're going to add the flavor now. So we need a cup of this uh, barbecue sauce. And I got to open it with a knife here. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm looking barbecue forward to sauce? Yeah, it's the barbecue sauce. Actually, the one on the website is actual barbecue sauce, right? So let's taste this, actually. I'm super, super curious. Mm -hmm. Wow. They nailed it. Primal Kitchen. Oh, nice spice. Mm -hmm. I'll put about a cup of that in there. I'll need a little shot of apple cider vinegar. Let me check the... Uh, the recipe on my website. Flav City uh, pulled pork on uh, the old Google machine. About uh, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. A little bit of bone broth and hot sauce. So we actually used all the bone broth. Raise your hand if you saw on Instagram stories last night that, uh, that I made the Thai red soup with the Meatballs made of scallops. It was the bomb. It was so good. So I do have a backup supply here of a uh, kettle and fire. So I'll use that one if I can open it. How's it going? Hey, Amanja, where your spoon go? Where's your spoon? Oh, here it is. Here you go, Just my love. Reload and leave it for her then. There you go. You can you can do it yourself, Rose, honey bunny. Oh, I can't open this thing. Ah. Are you going out and can't get my voice and free? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I can't even open this thing. Nothing's working tonight. They don't like me, Art. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is cut my finger off. The sauce was a primal kitchen barbecue sauce. Yeah, that's really, really good, you guys. To be honest, this is brand new. This is better than the old one they had. The old one was a little too acidic. This had a great balance of sweet and heat. 
Now, uh, some might say Arthur. Now, I'm not even gonna put the Tabasco. We have seared pork with our coffee and smoked ancho spice rub. Tons of flavor there. We have the barbecue sauce. Tons of flavor there, sugar-free, sugar-free. We have a little bit of bone broth. We have apple cider vinegar. Sweet, sour, spicy, and salty. We're good to go. So, to speed along the process here, we slap down the pressure cooker and we go pressure cook on high for, we'll do 40 minutes. It's set for three hours right now because that's how we do the, uh, the bone broth. So I'll bring that down. If you didn't want to do this in a pressure cooker, do it on a stove top in like a La Crusade for about two and a half to three hours. See, Art sees what's going on here. This is like setting your, uh, your rocket. All right, I got to go from three, min three hours down to uh, 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes. I'm pretty much done. We're gonna get Desi rocking and rolling on the uh, bread. Um, if you did- It's like Rose can reach for the knife right now. No, no, she's not even close, you guys. You ain't close, girl. Uh, let me show you a few things in my box. I know a lot of you guys have Thrive Market boxes on the way. Shipping times are getting much better, by the way. But um, when you click my link down below, you not only get up to a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for your year-long membership, but it takes you to my pantry bundle. This is something I ordered for the first. Okay, so I love this, it's a great value, but I want to see what the fuss is about. So I want to try. This is Thrive Market coconut oil. It's kind of like keto mayonnaise. And then I might use these later on to make pork tacos. It's their version of Siete taco shell is one of the best pork products you can possibly get. Okay, I need a little wine because tonight's going a little rough. Keto wine. Cheers to everyone. The end of another week. A stay at home order to the end of May. So it looks like we're doing a, a lot more uh, quarantine kitchens, right? So I think it's time to bring Desi on. Y'all want to see Desi raise her? If you want to see Desi make her bread right now. Is there a difference in ghee? I bought an organic grass fed one and it tastes terrible. Um, yeah, sometimes the quality of the dairy does matter, even though it's organic or grass fed. So I'd say, yeah, it definitely does matter. Like I know for sure. The ones that I use from Thrive taste better than the one they have at uh, the Aldi brand. Okay, it is time for D. Slav to rock a paleo bread recipe. So Desi, let's do a little audio swap rooney Shaky McGee's gonna get behind the camera, along with his- uh, I can't read all the buffering comments, babe. <laughs> That's all with, I'm getting. Along with- I'll Rose tell you one. Looking a little sleepy. After having her, how is your food, my love? Uh, Joy, you make wine keto because you don't add sugar to the fermentation process. Most winemakers sugar and that jacks up the carbs. A five ounce glance, glass of this will only have 0 0.02 grams of carbs as opposed to 3.5. Hey, Rosie. Rose, uh, daddy's drinking the wine, but you're getting... <laughs> She's transferring it from me. Yeah. Uh, Sting Man was saying, yes, we saw uh, baby Emma Rose Delauer today. Oh, yes. Today. Congratulations, Congrats Delauer's to Emma. Mm -hmm. Very, very excited for them. Very happy for them. Baby looks precious. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. God bless her. Yeah. Emma Rose. Emma Rose. Emma Rose and Rose Honey. <laughs> All right, so what so, exactly are you making and why is it so special? I'm making our paleo bread and it's very, very special because it tastes like real bread. It's spongy and glutinous and you can slice it really, really thin. Mm -hmm. Very hard to do that with paleo or gluten-free breads. And it's like sandwich bread. It's a sandwich bread. It's a sandwich bread. It's so good uh, and it's so delicious and it's made with eggs and almond butter, some arrowroot starch. Is for finishing. Yeah. What about cold filtered? Keeps freezing it. That's, that's for drinking. It's freezing it then. Uh, Mira almost lift, missed the live stream. Don't worry, Mira, you haven't missed anything. We've been buffering the whole time. <laughs> Scotland's in the house. Hey guys, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching Are we from. All done? We would love to know, in case you don't know what's on the menu, the internet's just going in and out right now. Is the iPad even buffering? Yeah, it is. 
Okay. How about that? What shall we do? Um, I don't know. It's interesting. All right. It's not you. It's not me. <laughs> That's right. It's the internet company. It's you, not me. It's 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 RCN. RCN is actually really good in Chicago, better than Comcast. But uh, just so many folks, you guys are streaming right now. Maybe yeah. they're watching that new show on Netflix called Waco. We've been on, we've been enjoying that a lot. All right, I think Rose wants to go play. I think she's done with. Uh, are you done, Rose? Food. She's like, this stinks, you guys. Yeah. You're not even cooking. Even, even Rose You're is leaving. You're buffering. The Rose is leaving. She's like, I'm out of she's here. Like. like <laughs> Most of you guys. Peace out, says Rose, right? Peace out, Rose. <laughs> Some folks are suggesting you restart your router. I don't know if they want to end another one and yeah. restart. That's Everyone said well. to Lily, she's going to go Hello. do something way more interesting with Rose than this, I Wait, guess. Wait, we have to, uh, I have to finish cleaning her, Lily. Okay. 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 Hey, Rose, you want to show off your attire there? With Let's your uh, restart our router. She's I mean, now. We could do that. Should we do that? What, what do you think, Ar? Should we just do another third stream and restart the router? That might be our next best option, so maybe we should. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure people are in the loop. Let's uh, mention it a few times here, and I'll type it too. Are we going to do that? You guys let us know if you want that. If we get one more reconnecting, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Rose is like, just do it. Go ahead. I'll go clean. play. All right, bye-bye. Is the quality of the video okay now, Art, or no? I think it looks okay. Uh, YouTube is coming in. Stangman says pretty it's pretty good, good right Some now. Some people are saying it's working now. Some folks are saying it's all the phone companies don't do anything on your end. Some say restart. Yeah, sometimes I actually do. Uh, some, some suggested, hey, what if what if you switch your iPhone and turn off your Wi-Fi and just go to your LTE? Uh, we have such a there's better? such a weak reception in the house it'd be bad. We get one I bar mean, out of five. We can edit edit oh. so that it can compensate. Yeah. If you look here, look at it, it's like it's two bars out of four. It's not a good idea. T-Mobile is not very strong here. Oh, we're, we're looking right now. Strong, but quite strong. Okay, you guys. First thing I'm going to do is... Everyone say a prayer that the YouTube gods and RCN will bless us here. Half a cup of water to a quarter cup of uh, ground flax seeds. And I ground those earlier. And my spice grinder. You can... Either do that or just buy ones that are already pre-ground from the store. Yeah, the, the flax seeds are going to add really good texture to the bread. And they're also really good for you to eat. So, win-win. High in omega-3s, high in fiber. Yeah. Why do you need the uh, flax seed and the uh, eggs? Both. Uh, both? Well, the eggs really are the b bulk of the bread, although the bread is not eggy at all. Um, the flax seeds add an additional texture which the eggs cannot, uh, and the eggs add more of a binding um, quality to the bread. Yep. And if someone wants to get the recipe, how would they do that? Yeah, uh, Flav City Paleo Bread. Just Google yeah. it. Yeah, both recipes tonight. Flav City Paleo Bread, Flav City Pulled and the pulled pork's actually in the behind desk you showed it right there. Yeah. Uh, Art had this Paleo Bread before. How is it, Art? Very good. <laughs> Very good. It's delicious. Good. I'll recap the uh, pork uh, in a little bit, just in case there's new people on, because the pork is fantastic. It's from Thrive Market. It's got a coffee and brown sugar spice, keto brown sugar with keto uh, Hawaiian barbecue sauce. It's very, very good. And Desi's bread recipe is fantastic, because we have the keto bread in the cookbook made from our but because paleo it's going to have a little starch in there and that allows it to be some lupinous at all not at all it tastes really really delicious robin said it reminds oh. her of uh Preheat. i oh, did i did it reminds you. her of cornbread of cornbread it reminds her <laughs> of... <laughs> no it, do it doesn't taste anything like cornbread <laughs> okay you're wrong robin uh actually yeah i would use chicken thighs use two pounds of chicken thighs follow my recipe exactly all right, I'm going to beat the eggs just, first. Just beat it. Wow, Maggie B is on it. Thank you, Maggie. Everyone's saying, careful of your fingers tonight, Bessie. No frying tonight, so uh, I should be good. Hey, hit that thumbs up button if you think Desi is looking very lovely. 
She looks like a chic pioneer woman tonight. Okay, no filter, you guys, because there's no makeup today. That's right. Pioneer woman style. Oh, tomorrow's the Pioneer Woman episode at home, babe. Tomorrow morning. What time? Nine? I gotta Eight? check. We gotta watch Let's it. I check, because like yes, uh, last week, we're gearing up to watch it at 10 o'clock, and I was trying to get Rose to sleep before that, and we, we, we got it done, and then we turn on to watch Pioneer Woman at 10, and it was over. Yeah. Well, it was so we missed wrong, it. No, we didn't miss it. was the wrong day, actually. It was the wrong day? Not yeah. Saturday? No. Oh, uh, no. It wasn't uh, last week. It wasn't. Okay. All right. Next up, I want to measure, uh, I want to add a tablespoon of honey. This is going to add really, really nice uh, sweetness to the bread. You, you don't have to. Uh, I'm just adding it because uh, it just really balances out everything. So, uh, can you show the front of the label? This, there's a good story behind this honey. Uh, I got this honey with Art in Austin and Stangman, Chris, right there. We got that at H E B store when Chris was nice enough to meet us there and take us around and show us around Austin. And we brought back a bunch of jars from Good Flow Honey. And Stangman, Chris has lost, I, didn't know I think. That was Stangman. Yeah, we, Stangman has lost almost 30 pounds since then, I believe. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Congrats. Oh, thank you, Laura. Tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning. Perfect. Ooh, 9 o'clock. That's. See, that's what we got wrong last week. Yeah, we, did. we missed it. it. We missed 10. it last week. Desi, what would you substitute for the recommended coconut butter in your everything? Uh, almond butter. Almond butter. It, it, it would work. It won't look the same, but it would work. Perfect. So, um, speaking of substituting, this bread uh, calls for almond butter. But you know what? Tonight, I want to make it as a mix of coconut butter and almond butter. You're it would be even tastier, I think. Coconut mana at home, so I'm like, but you know what? We, we forget eating that. And Roll just brushes it just by itself. Right, babe? Oh, great. Uh, so Rachel, by the way, thank you so much. Hi. Cooking along with you. Can't do the bread because I can't find psyllium husk, but I made the cookies today. Didn't turn out so good. Any pointers? Oh, the ones we made the Which other night, cookies? Rachel? Oh, that was such an easy recipe. I wonder what happened. Uh, from uh, the Texarian? Yeah, the, the Texarian recipe? We're talking about the uh, almond almond butter cookies, Rach? You followed the Texarian recipe? Are you uh, seeing a video now, Art, or no? No. Oh. Look at this message here. It says Some people are saying, oh, there's time using your connection too, but it never does anything with this big. Oh, forget. It's not working, man. It's, it's done. The, I it's ended done. the stream? I refreshed it, and this is what happened. Put, hit play. Let's skip the ad. Oh, okay. Can you guys see me or no? Yeah, they, they see you. We're there. Oh, they see me? Yeah, they see you. Okay, they see me. They see that breath of fresh so, air. That breath of Georgia peach. That so sweet the Georgia red, peach. The paleo cook, chocolate chip cookies from Texarian. I used the rest. I used her recipe and yeah. they were amazing. Maybe you uh, substitute an ingredient? Uh, let me know. I, yeah. I get shoot lots me, of questions. Shoot me an email, Rachel. I get lots of questions from people. Hey, I made this recipe and it didn't turn out good. What went wrong? But they're missing out to tell me like they switched this ingredient, that right. ingredient, they forgot an ingredient, um, they didn't follow the instructions. So um, I'm not saying you did, but uh, let us know what uh, maybe you did different. Yeah, almond flour that's not organic is fine. Bobby approved nachos. Uh, actually, I actually have a recipe coming soon. I don't want to spoil it, but it's going to be a very interesting recipe that we'll be working on soon. Bobby, yeah. I don't know if it's the same person that asked the question about the almond flour, but I saw a similar question said, hey, is why is non- Maybe once we get the batter in the oven, we'll start a new stream. It's the same same person asked the question. Gotcha. Right, but almond milk must be organic. Uh, no, so I've never said milk doesn't have to be organic, but it's so little of a price difference, I get the organic. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to get organic almond milk or organic almond flour. You know, almond uh, mana is expensive, but it's such a great ingredient. Coconut mana. Yeah, coconut mana. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so to recap, psyllium husk, I'm sorry, uh... What's this again? Flax, Flax seeds, seeds with hot water. Dry team. 
arrowroot starch, psyllium husk, tea, tape, mm, teaspoon of salt. No. Yeah, teaspoon of salt <laughs> and teaspoon of baking soda. And a cup of almond butter. And I will be adding one tablespoon of vinegar as well, but let's get these things mixed All in. All right, buzz it up. In the meantime, I'm the host of the day. My name is Bobby. I'm drinking some keto wine. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Name in town, name in town. Rachel Murray. She followed the recipe exactly, except for the coconut sugar. I use sucre and brown sugar. Wow. Hmm. Strange. It shouldn't work with the sucre and brown strange. sugar. That's strange. Because, Rachel, when we made it, the dough was very, very thick. We actually chilled it too and had it uh, yesterday and it was super thick. So I'm wondering if maybe your measurements were off because the almond flour in there, or the almond flour and butter makes it very, very thick and tight. So uh, that's weird, Rach. Supreme, supreme sugar. Hmm. This is the one she used right here, this one. Oh, this one? I don't think it should matter. It shouldn't matter. Um, hmm. Right, we got SoCal San Mateo. Oh wow, Libra's cooking her uh, her uh, cookies right now. Oh wow. Very, very exciting. Amazing. So these are gonna go in the oven at 425. All right, we got the smart oven going. Uh, so actually, if you look in the book, the paleo bread is not there because it's a new recipe. And it's actually relatively low in uh, carbs too. I just have to calculate the uh, macros. But if you go in the cookbook and you go to page, it's like 209 or something. Here we go. 207. Look at this. This is keto pulled pork with Cheddar Bay biscuits, homemade barbecue sauce. It's a meal prep recipe. But look at these sandwiches. Oh my God. Art's favorite Cheddar Bay biscuits, pulled pork with homemade sugar-free barbecue sauce, red cabbage crunch slaw. I get the macros for the pork, for the slaw, for the biscuits, what a pain in the butt that was. But look at that. Oh, darn good. A lot of book sales this week, all because of you. Thank you. Keep looking on Amazon. That'd be great. If you haven't left a review, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, thank you, guys. Oh, you're big, big, at that pork sandwich. <laughs> a big, big week of sales on Amazon. Thank you. Uh, I mentioned my one of my favorite menu items in that book, and I'm like, ah. Oh, you got frozen on it. Uh, Lindsay, super chat, but fresh cauliflower rice. How do I make it crispy? Um, you got to uh, have a very hot pan with a, a good glug of oil on the bottom and let it sit and let it get crispy, shake it up, and then let it get crispy again. All right, I just added a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. What's the do? The vinegar and the baking soda will act as a leavener in the recipe. Ah, leavener. It activates. Yeah. That's right, Sharon. We're overloading the servers in Google HQ and uh, San Bruno. <laughs> Let's get this added in the batter. Mm -hmm. Mix that up. And guys, once again, I want to throw some love to Thrive Market. They are the sponsor of so much content on our channel, right? Exactly. Art's like, wow, look at Bob in this box. It's pretty nice, right? Got some paleo taco shells, some wild sardines. If you go right below the video, right below that scrambled jumble mess right there, you'll see my link. This link takes you to my custom made curated uh, pantry bundle and you can get a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a year long membership. They're a huge supporter of the channel. They have that pasture raised pork. And just remember, if you don't like Thrive Market, you could always cancel, get your membership back, but you get to keep that $20 shopping credit, but use it to get a couple of my pantry staples and go to the pasture-based pork bundle. It's $100, but you get bacon, you get uh, pork shoulder, pork chops, so, so many delicious things. Who's that? Someone. Someone. We just buzz them in. Delivery. Okay. It's not delivery. It's... Rumor Samarthi has a question. Yes. Says, uh, I'm making apple cake this weekend, but don't have a hand mixer. Do you think it'll work without a hand mixer? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Just make sure you beat the eggs pretty good. Yes. Uh, Deborah says, where do I go for the link? It's right below the video. I pasted it, Deborah, right there. It says, get a $20 shopping credit by clicking on my link, my sweet dear. Karuna Rose, hiya, $5 holler. Thank you, Karuna. Hey, Karuna, Desi and I were wondering, are you Indian? We feel like Karuna is an Indian name, but we wanted to know. 
My fave wooden spoon and not a mixer. Oh, nice. Do you have a whisk? Uh, yeah, whisk. That would work. Um, you have a whisk. The question about the almond. Yeah, so almond milk doesn't have to be organic. I buy organic because it literally is an extra 20 cents. But when it's almond flour, you can buy organic almond flour, but it does not, um, does not matter. Oh, thanks, Doug. This sucks tonight. I know we're bummed out, guys. Well, we don't. We know that it's not the best, Doug. We don't need your negative feedback. Out. Thank you, Jackie had um spiel. Bravo, bravo, que bello. Yeah. So actually, we made a video uh, to making the bread. Yes. You can also watch the making of this bread. Yes. Uh, on uh, high definition. That's right. And edit it. And it's on so. the recipe is on the blog. So someone says, do I have to get the cookbook to get the recipe? No. The recipe for the pulled pork is on flavecity.com. Just search Flav City pulled pork and the recipe for Desi's paleo bread. Search on Google Flav City paleo bread. We got you covered, guys. I would never say, oh, you'll only have to buy the book. I would never do that. But you might want to buy it anyway. Look how, look how oh, look at that stretchy texture. Look, look at this stretchiness. Here. Oh, thank you, Janet. Damn. You, you know this bread is going to be good, you yeah? know? See, that's the difference of paleo and keto. You would never get that texture with keto, but you would with uh, paleo because Desi put the tapioca starch in there. And yes, Karuna Rose is Indian, and she loves our videos. Aww. One day, I can maybe take Desi uh, to India and give her a tour. Yeah, do you live in India? Do you live somewhere I else? I bet she lives here. You never know. Dream is to go to Karuna. But do it right, you know. Do it right. The Rajasthan Palace right. is only for Rose. Oh, for Desi. The Golden Triangle. That's right. Dennis, just book, book. Thank you. Uh, wild rice. I usually get it from uh, the bulk section of stores. You can get it from anywhere. Any wild rice. Good. Thanks, Elizabeth. Sharon will watch the Sarah videos no matter what. Oh, oh, oh so sweet. Sharon, thank you. All right. Karen is in Virginia. Oh. Oh, Virginia. You go back to India. I heard Virginia is for lovers. <laughs> That's just what I heard, though. Is that a... Hey, guys, if you got a I question... Logan? If you got a question for the one and only Arthur T. Almacy, you leave a comment in the description box at Arthur Almacy. Tag him. If you got a question for Desi, hashtag Ask Desi. And fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, Art might be joining us very, very soon. Oh, the there's kitchen. a rumor on the street. Yeah, there's a rumor on the street that Art might be here. You never know, so I'll, I'll drink to that. We shall see. Working on it. All right, so I'm reusing this parchment paper from the cookies the other day. Yeah, reuse parchment paper. That's the way yeah, to do it. And, um, you know, the reason why I usually put it on the bottom of a baking tin is because it varies to pick up the bread. Uh, once it's baked, um, no matter how much uh, you grease it or use a nonstick pan, it will always stick. So I just prefer to get extra insurance. There we go. Kate is new to paleo. So much information. Where to start? What would you say, Desi? Where to start? Um, just the first start is to understand what are the foods you can right. eat on paleo. Really understand the diet. I mean. What is paleo diet? It's the diet that our ancestor had before agriculture. So if it was something that they could and eat, you're okay to eat it too. Um, it's really easy. Don't yeah. eat refined sugar. Don't eat grains and don't eat uh, potatoes and uh, yeah. So stuff no, like that. no legumes, no grains, no sugar. It's easy. Um, but you 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 can have certain sweeteners like maple syrup and coconut sugar uh, which are great and honey uh, so nice, uh, that's why we like the paleo diet yep uh, about the same price Lindsay Casey Lane five dollars super chat love y'all so much hey from Tennessee by the way I soaked my organic blueberries in vinegar today such a genius idea all right ready to bake let's bake it 425 on what is the stream working or no? How are we gonna I gotta make a taco out of it. You know, some slaw. 
Nice. Pulled pork chop. So the recipe. You is seen this. all those super chats? Oh uh, yeah, I got. Uh, let me just. I know. I know. It's nice ruining thing. our recipe. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is just me waiting for the stream to resume here. Can you see? Can you hear me now? Oh, there we go. This is. I know people are all watching their. Uh, the reality shows and everything. But come on, this is educational TV with the family, right? Yeah, past the wine, says Erica. It's the keto wine. I'll show you the label in a minute. Great company. Actually, they're the guys who said they have some amazing olive oil. And do I want to collaborate on a Place City brand of olive, olive oil? And I said, yeah. So um, hopefully we'll take a trip to Tuscany when it's safe, maybe end of year, and come out with two Place City olive oils, a cooking olive oil and a uh, finishing olive oil. Now, Bobby's, Bobby's, not, Bobby's never drunk. And the cool thing about keto wine, if you have a few glasses, you won't get a headache and feel like garbage because there's no chemicals and no added sugar. Uh, we have an olive meal by the house. Ooh, Marie, that sounds good. Okay, <laughs> you're back, Jesse. Let's show on the pulled pork. Yes, pulled pork, y'all. Look at this. This is keto, you guys. On the website, search flavors in their mouth. I mean, that is so darn good. I mean, my goodness gracious. And then the paleo bread, let's show everybody. <clears throat> yes. Uh, for the paleo bread, we used uh, a little bit of tapioca starch with almond uh, butter and coconut butter. Here it is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, you guys. Oh, Jackie had them another $4.99. You're so sweet. You're number one, she says. Are we buffering now or are we working? Seems to be working. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Oh, wait, let me go ahead. I'm at home behind somehow. There we go. I must feel like we should. I'm getting this. Is it working? Is it working? Click on the video for a second, Ben. I just want to see. Let me just see how long I have to bake these guys. Oh, you got to set a timer. 30 to 35 minutes. 30 to 35. Okay. I have a timer going. I put 34 on there. I, I just. What timer did you set? Because there's one over there. Because. You was buffering, so you abandoned it. <laughs> Jesse, it. <laughs> what size bread pan did you use for the uh, bread? Oh, what size pan? Uh, I'll tell you right. It's actually on the uh, scroll down to the no, uh, scroll it's, up. That's right. I, I'm saying here. Uh... I know, but I, go to the Amazon link. It's right there. Oh. Yep. Right there. It's an OXO one pound uh, loaf pan. One pound. Yeah, I'm still seeing that circular buffer, but if you guys are seeing it, we're good to go. Okie dokie. Let's take stock of where we're at. That seems to be working fine. All right, no worries. Okay, the keto wine. This okay. is it. I'll tell you more about them on another stream. You can only get it on their website. It's fantastic. Um, we got the 20 minutes on the pork here. I probably shouldn't get too close to there. Victoria Garcia. No, it's fine. It's working. It's been doing that for five minutes. Five dollar holler. Uh, we got the bread in the oven, and we're rocking and rolling. Uh, tonight's a tough night, right? It's Friday night. Everyone's streaming. What are they streaming? Well, they might be streaming Waco on Netflix. They might be streaming Love is Blind, which I tried watching, which was garbage. They might be streaming, uh, what else? Uh, a new episode of... We need some new stuff to watch, you guys. We, we saw the finale of... Little Big Fires, which was fantastic. We need new shows. We don't like too much violence. We don't like killing. We don't like well, missing children. We love comedy, drama, but not dark drama. So I need to, I need some new shows. We'll watch another episode of Waco, which is fantastic. Um, but too many people are streaming. The bandwidth tonight is horrific, right? Unorthodox, yeah, I tried watching the preview. I didn't love it, but I gotta try it. Prison Break, oh, we've watched all the Prison Breaks. Those are fantastic. Watching a Heartland on Netflix. Hmm. Oh, a new movie with Chris Hemsworth. I hope it's good. I hope it's not all like action, bang, bang, punch him here and there. Uh, Gilmore Girls. No, we don't watch that. We're having for later on, but I'm going to have some for sure. Ooh, a little shooto. Look at this girl. Double pork action. Wow, that's sexy, babe. Here, give me How about some wine? Chase that with some vin, I'm really vin rosa. Right, so why don't I make a slaw in the meantime? All right, let me, let me. Oh, and some Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano. The cheese of kings. 
and the king of cheetahs. <laughs> Both from uh, the market yesterday. All right, let's switch. Uh... It's doing this, but it's working. But just to, you know, well, okay, good to know, man. So I think you guys want to see like pulled pork tacos. I mean, the bread probably won't be ready in time, but what if we make a quick red cabbage crunch slaw and then make tacos using my grain-free uh, Thrive Market tacos? What makes them grain-free? There's no corn. They're using uh, cassava flour, ch -ch -ch chia seeds, and I believe avocado oil. Oh. No, wait. Right? Avocado oil uh -huh. and chia. Amazing, right? It's like these siete ones, but they're cheaper. And when you toast them in the oven for a few minutes, they get muy crujiente y muy delicioso. Y Roberto me gusta mucho. Okay. Let's do a little bit. Better call Saul. Bobby liked it. Yeah, you know what? I stopped watching after season one for some reason. I don't know why I did it, but in fairness, Dusty and I both have to like it. So I like um, the new Pope. But Jesse didn't like it, so I couldn't finish the season yet. Um, I can't watch Jack Ryan because she doesn't like violence. So it's a tough one. Tough life I live, you guys. Tough life. Don't ask Art what he's watching. God knows what he's watching. What are you watching, Art? Watch the, the Bulls. <laughs> the Bulls. Yeah. The last dance. The Bulls. Okay, so let's make a little red cabbage crunch slot. Uh, her shoot is so good. Super chat for uh, Jesse's seminar, nine ninety nine. See that? Uh, oh, there we go, Jesse. Bum, ba, ba, ba. Thank you so much. Prepare. Hmm. <laughs> if you want. No, this is the one from before. Mm hmm. No, this is the one I bought the other day. No, it's not. No? Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I think Better Call Saul would be good, right? Okay, I am going to. Make the slaw now. And we have 20, we have 16 minutes left on that. Now, do you think it's worth it, Art? We could end the stream. I could unplug the router and the modem, wait 30 seconds and replug it and start a new one. But is it worth it, guys? I don't know. What do you think? I think it's going to be more than 30 seconds and I don't know that it's going to do anything. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to do anything. That's the problem. It's a risk that I'm not necessarily willing to take. If it, if it, if it, it took way more than 30 seconds just to get the second one going, let alone to restart the modem. Oh, no. Yeah, I'd have to unplug it for 30 seconds. The whole thing would take probably 10 minutes. Yeah. Tim Lee's in the house. Yo, check out Forgotten Kingdom Sunday. Or, yeah, say that. It's on here. Forgotten what? King. Soil and Green? That's a really oil, old movie. Soil and Green is people. <laughs> Who'd you say is here, Art? I didn't hear you. Okay. Who's here? You got excited Finley. about that. Oh, Finley's in the house! He, he said, he said, you know, check out Forgotten Kingdoms Sunday. Oh, okay. By the way, Finley, I've been watching uh, Deep State. I like it. I don't love it. I finished the first season. Desi didn't like it. No. Thank you for the recommendation. My boy, JB. Is that JB Pritzker? Always good. Get reception once in a while. Not a big deal. Thank you. Ann Arbor. That's Art's favorite uh, college, right? <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Finley said Finley says he needs you to fix your wireless. That is true. <laughs> okay. Let's make a slaw. I think pulled pork tacos sound que rico. Right? I feel like you guys have made me have seen me make this slaw like a million times. Well, Desi's drinking on my keto wine, girl. Cheers, you guys. It's amazing because when you drink sugar-free keto wine, you never get a headache. If I drink any other wine, I'm telling you, I get, I'm very sensitive to sugar and chemicals. I'll get a headache immediately. It's crazy. Cuckoo crazy in la boca. So I have a little uh, organic cabbage here. You don't have to buy organic, but the price was right. I'm going to slice that thin. Let's crowdsource some ideas for ingredients for my slaw. Should I put some carrots in there, some pepitas, some raisins? What kind of dressing should I make? This is a, this is a slaw for the people by the people. So y'all tell me what to put in there, okay? Bobby, what is the alcohol content on the keto wine? I think I've seen that before. It is, my dear, 13%. Not as high as Art's preferred drink of choice, malt liquor, but it's not bad, right? <laughs> Oh, what we're watching again is uh, Killing Eve. Oh, yeah. But we didn't like the first episode, right? 
We tried watching the first episode. Killing you just kind of getting old. Mayonnaise. Yeah, no purple cabbage. Uh, carrots. Patch cords. What's a patch cord? Cucumber peppery. I do have peppers. Thank you. I do. I bought a bunch of organic peppers, so I'll get those. You gotta buy organic, even though they're a little pricey. They're uh, dirty. They are very dirty. Dirty dozen. Well, uh, we're doing gardening in our new house when we find one. Huh. We'll if be... the garden allows for it, maybe a little bit. Yeah. I would like to plant a few. I'd like to buy, plant herbs because we use herbs so much. Well, That'd be herbs lovely. For sure. Right. That'd be nice. I. I'm telling you guys. And I would like also to have a little space as like an indoor garden so that in the winter oh. you just move the plants in there. Like, um, what do they call that? Like a little greenhouse. Would that be next to the solarium? Yeah, next to the solarium. Okay, okay. Hey. Adjacent to the pool. Dessie's been dying for a new house. I'm so glad I didn't buy one before this happened because now we can get one for maybe 20, 30% cheaper because I've been saving my money. We'll get housing markets going to go into quite a correction. Desi wanted to buy one so badly, I would have kicked myself in the butt if I bought one in the last six months and this happened. Scammer payback! Christians in the house! Much love to y'all. Sorry if I made trouble in your comments out loud. You're always a troublemaker, Christian. Scammer payback. Huge, huge fan and friend of the channel. Thank you. And uh, Finley said... Uh, Colt 45, brother, Earl English. No, I'd say uh, a Mickey's guy. I'm telling you, he's a Mickey's guy. Art and I are such, exactly. such wimps. One time we got a Mickey's, and I think we had literally like three sips each, and we couldn't have any more. That was enough. <laughs> Ooh, the special sauce on, uh, on a little bit of slaw. That'd be lovely, right? Yeah, Noreen made it. Lovely. Radishes. Ooh, do we have, I don't think we have any radishes. That'd be really nice, too. Oh, yeah, so the governor extended the stay-at-home order until June 1st, but certain businesses can reopen. So we'll see what that's going to be. I just don't think the gym's going to open. What do you guys think? I need to get back to the gym so bad. So does Desi. You guys, I've been working out for literally longer than I have, and I've been working out for 26 years consistently. So not going to the gym has been really, really tough for me. I mean... Raise your hand. Can't the gym reopen, have only 50 people or less in there, do body scan temperatures and make sure that everyone's spread out? I think they can do it. And science shows that working out boosts your immune system and helps your overall health. Sitting at home, eating pizza and chocolate cake, watching Netflix does not help your health. So they really need to open the gym, right? Get a bike, Bobby. <laughs> I, 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 no, I do need you my... know how it is biking here in Chicago? It's terrible. Yeah, you can't even go on the lakefront, right? How do you pick the 50 people? You sign up online for time frames. 50 people come from 8 to 9, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. It's the only way to do it. I understand not opening bars and stuff, but a gym is essential. These biceps are getting smaller by the day, y'all. Come on, this is ridiculous. No, actually, the gym is going to be uh, open in phase one. That's what our um, contact said. Yeah, our manager at the gym said phase one, but phase one, God knows when that's going to happen. We got to open that gym. Mm. Listen. I mean, plus... Someone is saying to add apples to the slaw. Ooh, that'd be interesting. We're cucumbers, but we don't have We them. don't have cucumbers, but that would be a great call. A little yeah, bit because of... because apples and pork... Ooh, yes, let's do it. A match made in heaven. And I have some literally stunning organic honey crisp apples now that are so crispy and floral and sweet. One carrot or two, my dear. Probably one carrot is enough, right? Well, yeah, but grocery stores are open all the time, so... Yeah, lift rows 50 times. Not the same. Home workouts are just not the same. It's I can not get the same. I need that equipment. I need the I equipment. Need equipment to uh, do all those back exercises. At home, you can't do a back exercise with your body weight. It's pretty much impossible. Yeah. Then Desi bought these bands. They snapped like yeah, the. They snap on the fifth time I used. It was a joke, and now they're raising the price of everything. All these Amazon sellers are raising the price of everything. Uh, by the way, update for the Amazon affiliates. Nothing has changed right now. Our, uh, our things officially went down. Our commission rates went way down. Nothing's changed yet, but thank you. I'll keep you updated. Americana Patriana. If you want to go old school, you have to go to the Boone Farms Wine 
for the ladies if the dudes get the malt liquor. My parents used to drink Schlitz. Oh my God, Schlitz is old school. Thank you for that super chat. Listen, we can do it in a safe way. And you gotta think most people working out are gonna be relatively healthy-ish and young. And those are low risk people. I mean, working out is so important, but hey, that's just my, that's Bobby's two cents, right? Not like Mr. Art who goes running every day wearing his full Under Armour regalia. He's like a walking ad for Under Armour. It's like, Under Armour, Under Armour, Under Armour. <laughs> yeah, and then I put on my gloves. I'm like, oh, the gloves are Nike, okay. <laughs> I know, yeah, I've done yoga. Still, you have to do a lot of yoga to strengthen your back. In the gym with the right equipment, you can strengthen your back in a month. Well, here's the crazy thing. Desi has really not liked the gym her whole life. And she used to do yoga, but she wasn't getting strong enough. She just started going to the gym religiously since January 1st. And she's been going and she got strong and this happened. So it's terrible timing. But not terrible timing is scammer payback. A $50 holler for the Amazon commission reduction BS. Thank you, scammer. I appreciate that. In case you don't know what's going on, Amazon has an affiliate program they've had forever. I drive so much traffic there. If you guys or anyone buys anything from Amazon via my link, I usually make a five to 8% commission. Amazon said, hey, we're so busy right now. We don't need your, your rates anymore and your commission, your traffic. They cut everyone's rates from one to 3%. Therefore, making it basically impossible to make your good commissions that people live off of out, off there. And they completely turn their back on people who have been supporting Amazon for years. So we signed a petition. We have, I think, 20,000 people who signed it. And we're trying to get it reversed because a lot of people make a very good portion of their living off of that. I make, a, I make some good commission, but not the, the bulk of it. And they just completely pulled the rug out of people. It was terrible. Is there a goal for how many people are going to sign? Like yeah, they wanted 25,000 people. 25,000? Yeah. They have, what, 2,500? No, they have uh, 20,000. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. We're almost there, you Almost guys. there. Almost there. Okay. Listen to me now. I want to pump you up. I'm hundred crown. Pump you up, Denny M. This is for Bobby's two cents. I got lots of two cents, Denny. Thank you so much. Uh, we also said what we saying here. Uh, someone had a good idea. What was the uh... online gym membership? Homeland. Online. Oh, no. Nah. not the same. I can't do it. I mean, I, I'm doing the home workout. Oh, peppers. Thank you. Uh, I'm doing the home workout, don't get me wrong. It just ain't the same. Right? I need Hans and Franz in the gym, man. Can you recommend... <laughs> What's a great knife that will last you a long time? Well, on my Amazon shop page, I have two recommenda or three recommendations. So, once again, if you ever have a question about the equipment I use, Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. I'm still going to drive you guys there because I want you guys to have the best cooking utensils. It's just really, really crappy. They did this to us. Um, I have a recommendation for a $30 knife, a $100 knife, and a $200 knife. And they're all good. Less like Elaine Honeycutt, my girl, with a $2 holler is all good. We got five minutes on the Instant Pot. Art, keep an eye on that Instant Pot, will you? Keep an eye on what? Keep an eye on that Instant Pot, will you? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Where do you go to sign the petition? Cooking away. Um, search on Google Amazon Affiliate Change.org and you'll see it right there. A ton of, I think like three thousand of you guys here on Instagram signed it the last uh, this week. And that was really, really nice of you guys. Raisins in the slot. Yeah, for sure. Raisins and adding an apple or no? Oh yeah, thank you. That's what we're gonna do. An apple, yeah. And then we'll finish the rest of the apple later on during Waco. Desi and I usually share an apple with almond butter while we're having our nightly binging session after Rose goes to sleep at uh, 7 o'clock. And then I make a cup of uh, chamomile sleepy time tea and we go to bed at 9.30. That's our lives, everyone. And we get up the next day, we do it all again. Cook, clean, film, repeat. In the Instant Pot, we have keto coffee and smoked chili paprika. Here are the spices I used for my... Really good mix of smokiness, spiciness, and sweetness. And, we'll, and we use the Thrive Market. I'm telling you, I can't talk well enough about the Thrive Market pasture-raised pork. 
from a small family farm in Georgia called White Oaks Pasture. It's gonna fall apart and get delicious. I just ordered four more packs of Thrive Market bacon that's coming hopefully early next week. And I also got a little seafood too. So when you use my link down below in the description box, right below here, you get your $20 shopping credit. Try, in my opinion, get the $99 pasture raised pork bundle and get a few things from my pantry list. It'll take you to my pantry list. Get the Thrive Market uh, ghee. Get maybe some sardines, some stuff like that. Really good stuff. All right, let's put a little bit of apple on there. Yeah, I'm standing over here, guys, because uh, as soon as I come close yeah. to Bobby, then the reception starts getting really iffy. You're not social distancing from me, right? But... Not much to see right now. It's just a whole lot of chopping. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> I love the idea. Do we do? Do we stop eating after a certain time? Mm. We don't eat all the time. <laughs> I mean, uh, we don't do intermittent fasting. If that's what you're asking. No. But, uh, we eat dinner around 6 p.m. and then we do have a snack around. 9.30 when we watch something like apples and almond butter yep. or like a cookie uh, that we've made like a paleo cookie or something. Um, yeah. Yep. I just saw a funny question about green poop. Am I reading that right? Someone just started eating really clean and keto when I poop. It's literally pure green. <laughs> uh, uh, detoxifying. Yeah. All right. So... Raisins and pepitas. Uh, so Amira got your, the boot board, and how should she maintain it? Um, just wash it with hot soapy water when it's dirty, and whenever it gets dry or every like month and a half, two months, rub it with some uh, mineral oil, the stuff from the uh, from like CVS or whatever, and it's gonna retain its luster and its moisture. We'll add a little bit of Thrive Market raisins. I would buy organic for this one because. Uh, What's wrong, I gotta Rose? check on Ralph. She's crying. All right, we'll do. Ooh, ex my belly. My belly? You guys see my belly? Maybe we can bring Rose up. Okay. You are not. I haven't seen many comments come in. Oh, your life is. We see buffering. Buffer? Oh, we're back. Okay, now you're back. There we go. Hey, Rose, you're back. Hey, sweet pea McGee. Hi. Hi. Hi, it. Rose, honey, honey. Oh, your boobs, your boobs showing there, man. <laughs> Ooh, a little risky. Friday night. Hey, honey, bunches of oats. Honey, bunches of rosy. Hi. Hi. Want to take a seat or what? Hi. You're waving. Hi. Hi, Rose. It's like, where's the food? <laughs> Where is the food? I came here to eat. Want to take a seat and sit with me? Manja, manja. <laughs> Hi. Hi, cute stuff. Uh, you want to put her down in the chair or no? Yeah. All right. Mind you, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? Lily will come. Lily will come. Yes. Okay. Uh, by the way, the Instant Pot went off. I don't know if you heard that. We have to let it uh, rest for about five or 10 minutes. Then we'll release the pressure and it's gonna blow like Mount Vesuvius. And then we'll pull the uh, pork, maybe reduce the sauce a little bit. In the meantime, let's see how the, uh... where are you going, Rosie? Huh? Where are you going, Rose? Huh? Hey, Rosa. Hi, hi. See how the, the breadettes is doing back here. Ooh, do you guys see that? It's rising. like. Phoenix. Wow. Oh, it looks good. Nice, Crystal. Got some Arctic char. Yeah, I'd love to hear that. Two left on the bread. Yes, my dear. All right, uh, slaw's pretty much done. Can you turn it off so it can cool down? Uh, turn off what? Oh, I have to uh, let it rest for five minutes. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it. We don't have time for that. Here we Crystal, go. Crystal, just left whole foods with Arctic char, tahini sauce. And I saw that. Paste. So, be careful. When you release the pressure, there's hundreds of pounds of pressure probably in there right now. So always, see, see Art's gonna push his head away. Be careful, Art. Don't burn me. I don't wanna get you.
Oh, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> it went down very... <laughs> because I don't have too much, uh, too much stuff in there. They're done. I'm surprised there wasn't more uh, pressure. That's crazy. Oh, that smells good. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, we are teaching real sign language. Unfortunately, she's ten and a half months old, and she's not really showing back any signs, but we keep working on it. All right. Check inside the pot here, Rosa. I right, guess go. they all will come together at some point. It's all going to work out. Now, because that was pressure cooked, you have to let it rest for a few minutes before shredding it because what happens to a steak when it comes out of the oven? It's tough. It's tense. There's a lot of heat in there. If you let it sit, then it's going to get super, super tender. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transfer it to a board here. Smells good, you guys. Yeah. All right. I'm going to transfer this pork. Let it cool down just for a few minutes, then we'll shred it. And if we did this right, it should shred very easily and really be fork tender. Folk. I think I've seen before that for sale on Amazon, they sh sell these um, meat shredding claws, like Wolverine. I think Elton Brown reviewed them on Amazon, on a YouTube one time. It's like the stupidest things you can buy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can buy those or you can just use a fork. It seems a little silly. And then the cooking broth here, you could cook down, but it's pretty watery. I'll probably just add some, uh, I'll add a little bit of fresh uh, barbecue sauce or barbecue sauce and some, a little bit of splash of cooking liquid. But, oh wow, this is gonna be really good. I can tell you already. It's gonna be good, y'all. What else are you gonna add to the pork once you shred it then? I'm gonna add more of the barbecue sauce and a little bit of the reserved uh, cooking liquid. That's it. Yum. Yeah. And then... What tortillas are you... Oh, I'm going to use the Thrive Market. Should we do that tortillas? or should we just wait for your bread? Yeah, let's... Uh, bread is five minutes away. Let's just wait for your bread. I can do both. So I'll let that re relax. And then for the slaw, I'll just... I'm not going to do it now, but we'll make a lazy man's dressing, right? So... She's having a hard time with her Instant Pot because it's making a mess once she releases it. Oh, yeah. When you release it, usually it sprays water up. So what I do is I'll, I'll release the valve and I'll throw a towel over it. And that prevents the, uh, the steam from spraying everywhere. You can do that. It's totally safe. Yeah, you want to check the seal. I don't know. Uh... What is that? Yeah, it depends on also what you're cooking in it. Yeah, it could and be I've messy. I've noticed, like, if you put beans, it makes a big mess. Oh, yeah, good point. So. A little bit of avocado oil mayonnaise goes in there. A little bit of salt, because it's a lot of bland vegetables. A little bit of pepper. I'm not going to mix it, though, till the last minute. It's kind of like a lazy man's make a head dressing. You've seen me make this a million times. A little bit of acid to go in there. You know what? Instead of using lime tonight, I bought these beautiful Meyer lemons, right? We might as well use that, but Meyer, I'm classy. Hey, raise your hand if you live in California and you have a Meyer lemon tree in your front or backyard. Very common in California, along with kumquat trees. But you know what I want to do? Oh, I have such a great idea. Check it out. We have this beautiful zest on here. Why don't we just zest it over the pork while it's relaxing? A uh, Meyer lemon rose is a cross between a clementine and a lemon. And oh, can you smell that? Come here, Rose. Smell this. Show Rose smelling this. Smell this, Rose. It's, it's sweet. I don't want to eat it. It's sweet and it's a little sour. Isn't that nice? And let me just zest it like that. See? Smell. Like lemon time. <laughs> yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lily says we should call it a lemon time, which I think is really, really a good idea. We'll have to petition the, uh, the citrus board for that, Lily. All right, so a little bit of zest goes in there. And then we'll take the juice, jugo de naranja, and we'll squeeze it. Yeah, see, people have it. I grew up with a Meyer lemon tree in NorCal. How much do you spend on Bobby approved groceries per month? A lot. But keep in mind, this is my job. We cook almost every day. But I finally got QuickBooks this year. So let me go in and check. I've been running it. It actually wasn't as much as I thought. It was like, I thought it'd be like $1,000 a month and it wasn't. I'll have to double check that. We use a ridiculous amount of groceries. Think about all the stuff I get from the store. 
from Thrive Market. It's a lot. So I think it's going to need a little more lime juice or a little more uh, Meyer lemon juice. So we'll save that. There we go. And I don't want to mix it yet because I might get a little too soggy if that makes it that far ahead of time. Now we can come to the pork, right? So check this out, Jesse. If I did this right, it really should just fall apart like that. I'm not even cutting it. Look at this. All right? Here's another piece. You shouldn't have to cut it like that. That's... I still want a knife if I'm eating it, though. Yeah, oh, I already did the knife. Look at that. Right? My knife through it. Mm. Oh, it's very good. Mm. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. And you know what? I can't go to barbecue restaurants anymore because I had this thing happen where I would go and then during the middle of the night I'd wake up and I'd have a reaction. I'd almost be having like a heat rash and I'd be breaking out in sweat and my face would get all hot and red. And I think it has to do with the slow cooking process with the um, spices. Something happens, a chemical reaction happens and it changes. So I can't do that anymore. And I actually made it at home one time. I made low and slow ribs with a spice rub similar to this. And something happens to the, I don't know, the chemical reaction of the spices. And I can't do it. So it's kind of a bummer because I love barbecue. But think about most of the meat barbecue places use. It's not grass-fed. It's not organic. It's not pasture-raised, which is a bummer. It's usually factory farm stuff. If they use stuff like this, I would go. And then I'd say, hey, can you make a Bobby approved one that doesn't use any spice rub? And they'd be like, get out of here, you're annoying. <laughs> Amira is willing to do the dishes in turn for some puerquito. Oh. oh. Amira, how about a puerquito de mufungo? Huh? That'd be nice. <laughs> this and a little plantanos, smash plantanos. I'll take this really fatty piece. All right, now. Mmm, it's so good. Wow, I'm telling you. What kind of mayo did you use? Chosen food. Chosen food. And how come you're not uh, using lettuce ever? Like people are questioning, why you're not using uh, lettuce ever? Well, it's not, it's not good for slaw. I mean, to be honest, we never have uh, lettuce here. We have kale or cabbage. That's it. It has more nutrition. When you taste this pasture-raised pork from Thrive, compared to the stuff you normally have at the grocery store, y'all, it's light and day. It's like that light in your hand, Rose. It's light and day. Bread? Okay, show what I'm going to do here for a second, but don't come over here. Now, the bread should be about 200 degrees. If you go to the Bobby approved shopping site on Amazon, you can get the probe thermometer, right? So you plug in the probe and you stick it right in the middle. This is really important for bread making because you don't want to overcook it. You put it right into the heart of the bread. And I want to pull this between probably 199 and 210. Because if it's undercooked, it's going to be raw. And actually, it's only it's only 166 right now. That's not possible. How crazy is that? Well, let's take a new hole here. It is. Look, it's deeper, babe. Deeper, it's raw deeper. in there. Do you see that? It came out raw. Okay, leave it in Hold there on. and continue baking it. Yeah, 181, right? 179, 170. Close, close that's why you use the thermometer. You just never know, right? I used coconut uh, mana this time, so maybe that changed a little bit. The... I'm going to set it for 190 or 200? 199. 199? So 199. And you can set the target temperature right there. So it'll alert you in case you fall asleep, right? Um, I want to put this in a bowl. Right? So here's where things get extra awesome. I mean, you don't, you don't have to do this. You can stop right now. You can stop, collaborate, and listen. Bobby's back with a brand new pork recipe. But we're not going to stop because I don't know when to stop. We put the pork in there. Oh, don't go on the floor. No, 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 no. Five second rule. Right? So you guys, pasture-raised pork. Can you save some for Rose without barbecue? Sure. Rose, you want some pork? Want some porky? <laughs> She's like, what? Yeah, I want pork. Rose loves the, the Thrive Market bacon. She goes gaga for it. Lady Gaga over there. Okay. Let's put some to the side. Should I put it in here for Rose? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
How much does she need like that? No, I'll give her more. Just a little bit. I know she loves it. Is that enough for her? Okay. So now we take some more of that. If you didn't see it earlier. Got a fever. Yes. <laughs> Submarine Chef, bet your house is smelling awesome sauce. And thank you, Submarine Chef. This is new, you guys. It's Hawaiian barbecue sauce, sugar free keto paleo from Primal Kitchen, one of the GOAT, greatest of all time, Bobby approved brands. We put the rest of the bottle in there, right? Get it in there. I don't want to waste any, so let me put it like this. Stuff's a little pricey, but it's worth it, y'all. Take just a little bit of the juice. Art, right, do you like the juice? I like, like of the juice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, you take a little bit of the juice. Oh, that's a lot of juice. Hey, come on, you like of the juice. That's good. That's a good juice. I get juice and juice. Yeah. Juice. What's wrong? I don't want that much fat. You don't want the fat? Jesse doesn't want the juice. Here's what I'll do. She doesn't like the juice. You don't like the juice? Ah, I tell you what I do for the juice for you. I skim off of the fat so I go below. Is that good? Yeah. All right, I go three. One. Same people, same ones, and they seem, uh... <laughs> You'd think so, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we mix it up. Get in here. Get in here, Dusty. Bread is gonna burn I, It's not the temperature, girl. Shooey. Look at that. Now you can add more swast if you want. You can go as swasty as you want. I have another bottle of this, but you don't need to. The pork is so juicy. I'm not trying to cover up the fact that I'm using factory farm pork. This is as good as it gets. Now I already tested it. Now Desi will be the, <laughs> the sampler here. I, I have seen the movie as good as it gets. Oh, no. I just gotta give myself credit. You know, I, I don't see many movies, but I have seen that one. This was Mel Gibson, right? Uh, Jack Nicholson. Are we back or no? There we go. We're back. As soon as I leave. Um, yes. Brian, Thrive is out of a lot of things, but they keep coming in and out. So once again, right below the video in the description box, use my link, I can't preach this enough, and try that pasture-raised pork. You'll get a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a year-long membership. Hey, Rose, want to try a little bit of pork? Here. No, not like that, babe. It's too big of a piece. Okay, I'll give you a small. Pokashi. Here, Rose. Oh! You're working hard over here with Lily. You need a little piece of porky. Is that too big? No. There you go, sweet pea. Let us know how you like it. Huh? That's pasture-raised pork, braised with barbecue sauce that's sugar-free, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and bone broth. Right, your first course was the kalamata olives and the peas. And then for, do we have anything for dessert for Rose or no? You already had her dessert. Dessert and then pork afterwards? Dang, girl, you're living. You're living. Oh, you marked your face up too. Oof. All right, I'll save the rest. All right. I'll save the rest for you, Rose Honey Bunny. <laughs> oh my God, this guy's paleo sandwich bread, a layer of crispy apple green cabbage slaw, and pulled pork. And I'm going to get some extra barbecue sauce just for the heck of it. So, actually, it's kind of funny because I was debating which flavor I should use. And should I do the, that one or the mango jalapeno? And now I get to use both, right? A little extra sauce on the sandwich. It's going to be so jugoso, muy jugoso. In the meantime, let me just put some stuff away. Talk amongst yourself. If you haven't done so yet, I'm sure most of you have. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. This recipe is in the cookbook, by the way. If you have the cookbook, it's on the blog too. You don't have to buy the cookbook, but you go to the pork chapter here and it's right there, right? But also, if you want the free version of this recipe, go to Flav City uh, Pulled Pork on Google and you'll get the recipe, but also check out the cookbook. You're going to love it. 196 on the bread, sweetie. Okay, yank it. Yank it. This is not a drill. Yankee Doodle Dandy it. <laughs> Where's the other girl? Yeah, I think the, no, just the mana, I think it's taking a, a bread a little longer. Another right? essential Flav City kitchen and, gear. The gloves with the uh, wrist protectors. And I think the almond butter was a little too runny from the normal one I typically use. I don't think it matters, sweetie. But if you have the look at this. prop thermometer, I mean, it looks perfect. It's perfect. It looks perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And look, the, it'll carry over. Like it's 198 round. I guarantee it goes over to 201 or something. 
Perfect. Right? That's perfection. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Like George Zimmer, who got fired as the as the CEO. Well, guarantee it. <laughs> the guy started the company and then they fire him. That's terrible. See? Yeah. There it is. One ninety nine. That's the beauty of the alarm. Like you forget about it, it'll wake you up. It's like, yo, get off the couch, stop watching uh, Love is Blind, you know? All right, let me put some stuff away and then we'll build a sandwich together. That should rest probably 30 minutes, but we're not going to let it rest that long. Uh, well, uh, I don't know if I want to cut into it like immediately. Well, you guys got patience? You okay to wait? I think we can do that. I'm do not okay to wait. I, we need to feed Rose and it's 6 o'clock. Oh, dear. Okay. Well... We'll figure it out. The bread will last for how long and what's the storage instructions for that, Rose? Or Desi? The bread is going to last for about, about four days, I want to say. Okay. And you can keep it on the counter for a day and then you can transfer it to the refrigerator. That works. All right, all right, all right. Where did you get the thermometer from? Is asked by 1987. Send me Sienta. Once again, it's on my Amazon shop page. So amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City has 85 plus of my kitchen gear. Like I said, even though Amazon slashed my commissions by 80%, we're still driving people there because I want you to have access to the kitchen gear. But hopefully they reversed that decision because that was really, really cruddy of them. Taking away people's livelihood. Not very cool, Jeff Bezos, whose stock's at an all-time high, by the way. The guy's got billions of dollars. Ah, uh, let's put that away. Amanda Esposito made your keto cheddar biscuits today. OMG, God's gift to mankind. Thank you for that, Amanda. I appreciate that. So if you wanted to, you could make tacos. No, they're all from badpickletshirts.com. I don't design them. I wish I did. I just don't do it. Um, if you wanted to make a taco, I would just warm up any of your favorite taco shells. I love the grain-free ones from Thrive. Put some slaw in there, and you're good to go. I'm going to mix up my slaw right now. And that's the beauty. Of, like You can actually pre-dress it and leave the mayonnaise on top like that and uh, let it sit for hours in the fridge. It will not matter. I was gonna buy red cabbage, but they were very light at the store. They weren't heavy and dense. And I don't, that was the second time that's happened like this week, so I wasn't very happy about it. So, mm, that Meyer lemon is absolutely delicious in there. Wow. Can we cut that bread or not, babe? There are differences between red cabbage and white cabbage in terms of flavor. I don't really think so. What do you think? Uh, I think there is a difference. You do? Mm -hmm. I think I prefer red. The thing is red actually has more carbs than green, which is kind of weird. So there's more sugar, obviously. Okay, well, we still have a thousand people watching. That's nice. I'm so hungry, too. So hungry. Yeah, red cabbage is sweeter. It's really nice. Um, how long before we have to cu cut off a little end piece of that or something? You're going to ruin it if you cut it right now. But try Why would I ruin it? Ahead. It's going to be hard taking it out. No, no. Hold on a second. All right. Go ahead. Man. Hold the door. Hey, you rose honey. Hey, you rose honey bunny. So. You have to on the side. You have to uh, loosen it. Push it real good? No, just loosen it. I will do that, my sweet. Clive Simons, four ninety nine. Clive Simons, four ninety nine. Wow. Got your cookbook today. Hey. Thank you. I've never seen Clive before. I've never heard of the name Clive, and I've never seen you on the chat. So I thank you for that, and thank you for getting the cookbook. Once again, if you get the cookbook and you have a chance to leave an Amazon review, please do that. Those are very important, and uh, we'll be able to tell you more about cookbook number two because we're going to start it very, very soon. And I'll document the whole process on Instagram stories and everywhere. Do a, do a haul at Walgreens. Like, uh, buying what? I did. Art and I did a Walgreens video uh, Walgreens? last year. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. No, no just, just the short side thing. 
There we go. Yeah. All right. I think we had to go to a couple Walgreens to do it. We did because the other one was like shutting down yeah. permanently. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it rises on top. Now you're gonna, you're not gonna get that with a keto bread, right? You need that starch. I'll from... attempt to make this keto actually. But I think it is keto to be honest because. Mm. Yeah. I guarantee it. I guarantee it has no more than like five uh, five grams of net carbs per slice. But look at that. I mean, you talk about uh, a bread. I mean, it's nice and airy in there, right? You really should let this cool down more. I mean, but look at that. It looks just like real bread. Look inside there. That's beautiful. Once again, just Google Flav City Paleo Bread. Let it rest like this on a cooling rack, right? But here's what you want to do. You want to take a little bit of slaw here, put it down. Now you take some pulled pork, slap it down like a sloppy Joe. I heard you boys I like them Joe, extra sloppy. <laughs> Does it smell like real bread? Well, it doesn't smell like yeast because there's no yeast in there. And I think the yeast makes that distinctive uh, smell. Yep. And the bread, but um, it does feel like real bread and it's so, so tasty. I don't know if you heard my Mark, question. Did you hear my question, Art? I said, I heard you boys like them extra sloppy. Made <laughs> <laughs> them extra sloppy. <laughs> Uh, oh, Courtney from hey, Pittsburgh. Love you and hope you're well. I hope you're doing well. Then we put the top bun. I mean, guys, to think this kind of thing right here is keto is ridiculous. Look at this. It's very, very messy, right? Oh, my God. Sweet. It's a small piece of bread hey, here. How are you going to eat it? I'm going to eat it just like this. Wow. It's messy. You obviously need a bigger piece of bread. It's amazing. The flavors, the textures. I mean, that's the kind of food you want to eat, right? Look at that. <laughs> oh, nice and messy, man. It's super messy. Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. Mm. Uh, somebody wrote, Stop it, lady, you're scaring us. <laughs> no. mm. Hashtag sandwich. What do you want to eat? Yeah, thank you. Try a bite, man. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Between yeah. the pasture-raised pork mm -hmm. and the bread, it's crazy, guys. Mm. Delicious, you guys. Mm. Mm. Nailed it, babe. Totally. Did it again. I wasn't, it. I wasn't easy, <laughs> but we did it. No, the bread's not sweet. Mm -mm. Yeah, and if you, if you even want it even more savory, you can omit the honey. Oh, yeah, true. With that Austin honey crisp, you can't do that, right? So, guys, both recipes are on the blog. Search Flav City Paleo Bread. Search Flav City Pulled Pork. I mean, this is what it's all about. This is good eating. I mean, who doesn't want to eat that kind of gluten-free, grain-free bread, pasture-raised pork, and this beautiful apple and cabbage slaw? That's good eating. That's so keto paleo like eating. Put it all together. Well, no. <laughs> when you cut a proper piece of bread... That's resting. That one is hot out of the oven, right? Good stuff. So awesome time hanging out. I know it's kind of tough with the stream and everything. We got to once again thank Thrive Market for being the longest supporter this channel's ever had. Try the pasture-raised pork. Show them some love. Click my link in the description box. Uh, what's so funny, Dusty? Sloppy Bobby. <laughs> Sloppy Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I laughed at that one too. <laughs> that was good. Almost two hours. That's dedication. That's right, Ashley. All right. Rose, Lily. Jesse, myself, we'll see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love. love. Peace. Peace. Wave, Rose. Wave. Okay. Wave, Rosie. Bye. 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 Bye, Rose. Bye. There you go. Yay. You did it, Rose Honey Bunny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Serrano. Yeah. Came in right at the end here with the chat. Oh, Joe Serrano. Not Joe Poblano. Joe Serrano. Keep being. Eerie and one question. What's the, I can't see the question. You can though. Difference between tapioca starch and tapioca flour? The answer is nada. How do you say está the same? Igual. Está igual, Joe Serrano, mi amigo de Mexico. All right, peace out, you guys. See you later. Sloppy Bob has got to make some sloppy Joes because I heard Art likes some extra sloppy. <laughs>
Stop it, you're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny, Rose?